guys, I am here with a thrift haul for you. I have like a bunch of random things from a bunch of random thrift stores, bins, maybe some flip lot items, I don't know. So I'm gonna get into it and show you everything I have over here. It's a bunch of stuff I need to get listed this week. So if you are new here, thank you for checking me out. My name is Heather. I go by the Canary Closet on all of my social media platforms and I am a full-time reseller. So I do three reselling videos a week on this channel. If that sounds like something that you would like, or you might be interested in, please hit the subscribe button down below. That's Ellie back there, my dog. Right, Ellie? She's really cute. Aren't you? You're really cute. Mm. <laughs> She'll come in the videos every once in a while. Okay, so we're gonna get into it. Again, like, subscribe, comment, share, all the things. Okay, I'm gonna show you what I got. If you see anything you're interested in, it should be listed soon, but if you want to message me, off platform I can usually give you a better deal um, like I just did for a viewer the other day I had a coach rescue box unboxing video I put out Sunday and right away I had a couple of viewers message me about a purse and I sold it to them for cheaper than I would have listed it online so that was great this is Athleta size 2 it's a really cute like skirt it's like a black kind of just like a pull on skirt it has two back pockets two front zipper pockets it does have the built-in shorts I believe yes looks very comfortable very stretchy so I'm excited to be listing that um, these are some Salvatore Ferragamo shoes so I'm kind of picky about which Ferragamo shoes I pick up because there's tons of them at least in my area and they're kind of like not the best style why I got these ones is because it has the bow with the Ferragamo written on it and I have found that those ones can do a little bit better so I decided I would try these. They were only $5, they're a size eight. So yeah, we will get those listed. Um, these are just snow boots for Grace. She needed some snow boots and I really didn't want to spend money at the regular store. And so I found some boots for her. I wanted to find her like some Sorrells, but I couldn't find those, but I was like, okay, these are good enough. And then if I find some Sorrells, I'll just replace them for it. But those will be good. She works at a daycare at our local college where she takes her college classes and they have to take the kids outside a lot even I mean not if it's like stupidly cold like today it's like literally two degrees. I feel bad because my husband Dustin just texted me and he is uh working out at a new Facebook construction site and it's outside and I'm like oh my gosh <laughs> It's really sad. So anyway, it's gonna be extra cold here this week. These are Finn Comfort. This is amazing because I just sold this brand. I think I sold them for 48 or $50. It was somewhere right around there super quickly within a couple of days. So I was really glad to pick up another pair. These are like a Mary Jane leather clog shoes. These are in really nice condition. They were $7 and these ones are a size 43. So I don't, I think they're women's men's I don't know I think women's I'll have to look up the size conversion that might be like an 11 or maybe even higher so that was good and then I got some of these again <laughs> we have the Z coils with the little spring shoe they are disgusting but they will sell and my last ones were like colored and they didn't do as good so I wonder since these ones are all white if I can get them cleaned up but there's like some sections where I'm like I don't know if I'm gonna be able to clean that um, but still, they will sell. People want these shoes, even though they're weird. So pick those up if you see them. Okay, next pair of shoes. When I've been going to our Omaha bins, I've been getting mostly shoes because that's what's good there. Um, but they don't do any switch outs, at least not that I've seen. So you have to get there right away in the morning to look through the shoe bins because otherwise I only see them switching out like the random ones, not even like the clothes. So this is a pair of Vionics. So needless to say, my bins isn't the greatest, but still decent. These are a size, oh, excuse me. These are a size seven and they have a style number like right inside here that you can look them up super easy. That way you can see the name, see what they're worth. I will always still look up Vionics because some of the styles are worth way more than others. Okay, we have a, just a pair of Nike running shoes. I think these got, I got these at the bins, so they're super lightweight, which is why I got them. They're a size 10 wide, which is good. I think they're a women's. I will throw these in the wash with some OxyClean and they'll come out super clean. So I'm gonna put that in all. I don't have any piles. I'm gonna have to make one. That's my wash pile. Um, 
another pair that I'm going to wash, a pair of Converse. Um, even if they're kind of worn out on the logo back there, I'll still get them. I will put these in the wash and all of this white will become really clean. The fabric will look really good. The bottoms will look clean. These are a size nine, I think women's. So they're kind of like a bluish gray color. Watch out, Isabel. It's a cat back there too. Can you see her? Can you see her tail? <laughs> okay, does that mean I'm like throwing things at my cat? Let's just get into this clothes over here because why not? This is a Polo Ralph Lauren large um, maxi dress. I found a few of these a while back at my Goodwill. This is short sleeve gray. It's like a cotton maxi dress. And they all sold very, very quickly. Not for a lot of money, but they sold super fast. So I definitely wanted to get that one again. I found this Pilcro in the letterpress, new with tags. Oh, this is, I meant to give this to Matt. Matt, if you're watching, sorry. Um, <coughs> I had, I was like, I had one more thing to get him, and where is it? And I was going to send this to him for our swap box video, but I gave him something else good anyway. It's a size extra small, new with tags, anthropology, pilcro, really cute little like ruffle plaid top. I have to get a drink. My throat's dry. A few moments later. If you watch me and Matt, I think we're going to try to have our swap box video come out on Christmas because usually that's when I do my mystery unboxing. So we shipped it out, both of them, yesterday, Monday. So we're hoping it comes in time where we can put that video out on Christmas. I think that would be really fun. Kind of like a Christmas present for both of us. I just got this because it seemed like a really new style. It's Nike size large, but it's this cool like diamond, like oversized crop pullover sweater. I don't know. I just thought it was a really cool style. I haven't looked up comps, but I wanted to get that. Um, we have a pair of Vans. These are like a cool, kind of remind me of like a water, like <laughs> print or color, watercolor. They were $6. Um, they're in really nice condition. And these are a women's nine and a half. So got those. I don't know if my daughter would like those. Eh, I don't think so. These ones, I don't know if I'm gonna wash because they're not very dirty. The other ones were like pretty gross. A uh, pair of Lucky Brand boots. I uh, used to be able to sell these for a lot more, but now I sell them, I feel like 20 to $25, but that's okay. These are pretty cheap. They were $4, I was gonna say six. $4 and these are a size six. So nice pair of black boots. Are you guys like thinking about spring and summer sourcing yet? I know that seems like kind of crazy, but Usually after Christmas, I feel like they're already putting out swimsuits in the store. Uh, a pair of classic white slip-on Vans. I know my daughter ordered some of these for Christmas and she kind of likes all the trendy things. So I'm like, these would probably be good to sell. I'm just gonna throw them in the wash with some bleach. They're a size women's seven and I'll just clean those up. They'll be super easy to list. $4. Wash pile, sorry cat. Okay, next. I got this yesterday for Grace. I was looking for her a puffer coat. I mean, technically this kind of, but it's like a corduroy puffer coat. It's not really any kind of good brand, Paper Moon. But she said she liked it, so I got this for her for now. She has a North Face puffer that she's had for quite a while, like a, two or three years that I found her at a thrift store, but it has like some stains and just getting kind of worn out. So I wanted to try to look for her a new coat. Couldn't, I never did uh, find another like North Face puffer coat or anything. So um, I just got her that instead and I will keep looking. These I thought my husband would want. They're these like really lightweight Under Armour slip-on shoes. But he's like, no, I have enough shoes. I'm like, well, you could use more, right? No. He doesn't want them. They're in really good condition. I'll sell them. Uh, I guess I can just use stuff for my kids that's in here. I got Ryan a Pikachu t-shirt. He's still very into Pokemon. So I don't know if I'm just gonna give it to him or like wrap it up as a Christmas gift. He's kind of getting jealous that I've been finding all this Lululemon for Grace. Like he doesn't care about wearing Lululemon, but he's like, she's gonna have all these cool clothes and shoes for Christmas. And what am I gonna get? But like, I got him a lot of other stuff, but I was like, maybe I'll give him a few like thrifted boxes. And then I just got him this like Nike blue t-shirt. Um, I stopped, I was just, yesterday at the stores I was going in, I was just stopping to look for stuff for my kids. So I wasn't really looking through all of the racks. Um, but I did see a new rack that came out 
and I found a few pair of Athleta leggings. So these ones are a size extra small. They're like a gray and black and, no, just a gray and white color block legging. Um, they were all right next to each other, so I just got them all. All size extra small. These ones like are a gray and white striped. Um, full length, so that's great. People will probably do their normal New Year's resolution soon. And then these ones are pink, um, black, and gray with pockets. So that's good, very soft. Here's my receipt. Good, this, this haul video is kind of helping me like organize my crazy space over here. These are a pair of Allbirds that I got at the bins and I washed them, but they're still dirty, which is sad. Can you see like the marks up there? It's like, I couldn't get that out. I sprayed it. So I might have to list them a little bit lower. Kind of sad, but that's okay. I don't know where the size is in these things. It's like, oh no, it's inside. Women's eight and a half. So I'll still list them. I just might have to list them lower. Maybe somebody else can do some work and get that out, but I don't want to put any more work into it. Um, let me open this bag because this was at my front door. So what is it? I don't know. I think possibly a flip lot. So we'll just open it on camera together. Let me know how your guys' sales were. Yesterday mine were actually like good. Um, I listed 15 things yesterday and I sold I think like at least 15, maybe more. I sold a couple of bundles, which was great. Okay, I think this is a flip lot. So let's see what I got. I'm so confused. I like forget. I forget what I order. Oh, it is because it says in the receipt flip lot. Okay, the first thing I got was this Eddie Bauer size medium jacket. So usually in these lots, I'm looking for one or two, like, ooh, this is a good item. And then I just like take the other stuff just to sell it because I just want the other one. It's like a midi length blue jacket. So that's cute. I don't know how much it's worth. I'll figure that out when I look up comps. That's kind of funny they didn't put it in a box. Um, uh, there's also these black pants. What are these? Oh, I think this was why I got them. Viore. I've really been liking to sell Viore lately. I haven't found it very much, but like I just sold a pair of joggers that were missing the drawstring for like pretty good money for having a flaw. So these like are a pair of like almost like canvas pull on straight leg drawstring pants. I don't know, there's like no tag on the inside. At least not that I can find. If you guys have sold this a lot, let me know if there's like a missing tag I'm looking for, I don't know. Anyway, this was why I got this. I really wanted to sell these because I think they'll sell for over $50 and that'll be great. I'm gonna start, I think, asking for more than 50%. That's what I've been doing, but I think I'm gonna bump it up to like 55 or 60. This is a pair of North Face, a size large, like capri, almost like a dance studio type of pant. I just sold a pair like this for $25. So that's good. Uh, a North Face t-shirt, this is not gonna sell for much, but if I price it cheap, it should. My last client on Flip, I'm actually like slightly annoyed with, it's this box back here. She probably had 15 things in her lot. And then all of a sudden, like right before she shipped it, she's like, I'm gonna add in some extra stuff for you and then you can just add it on there. Um, to sell and I'm like oh great thinking it's gonna be a few things she sent me like tons of extra stuff and most of it is like not that good I'm like if I really wanted to I probably could have like figured it all out and just sent that stuff back to her and just like I'm not interested but I don't know I'm just trying to be nice smart wool yeah I love selling smart wool you always look for that little guy it's a bolo brand this is like a merino wool like teal pullover long sleeve which is great sometimes they have holes in them but that usually doesn't matter because if it's a base layer people will still wear it anyway we have a pair of athleta leggings size small um these are more like a mid-rise i was gonna say if they're high rise i would see if grace wants them and i would just pay out the buyer full length leggings though so that's great the capri leggings have not been doing good for me i don't know about you guys but like for athleta lululemon aloe like Ugh. So I'm trying to like be good about not picking them up. Athleta extra extra small. These almost seem like a pair of swim shorts, so I'll have to look up the style number. Um, they're black with a drawstring. So we'll see what those are all about. More Athleta. This is just like a white little tank top. It has this like tie detail or like crisscross detail in the back. Not maybe. 
size small. Okay, lots of athleta. This is an athleta sports bra, which is great. I'm trying to see what size it is. Oh, it's a size medium. Oh, I wear medium. I can't figure it out. But I don't know if I want a zip front bra. I found another athleta bra, a black one at the thrift store, and I really like it. <coughs> so this one's like a dusty purple color with a zip front. So that's nice. Another Athleta sports bra, size small. I could see if Grace wants this and just pay out the buyer. This is cute. It's kind of like a tan little like leaf print bra. Speaking of Grace, we kind of had a scary thing happen yesterday. Um, it was snowing and she was taking my niece home. I'm sorry, my throat is really dry. And I was in the middle of shopping at grocery stores and she calls me crying and I'm like, oh my gosh, my first thought, like, is she hurt? And she's not hurt. So like, thank God for that. But she got in a wreck on the interstate. She was coming over a bridge and I think she was actually just going like a little bit too fast. She's like, I was going 15 under the speed limit. I'm like, yeah, but when it's slick, you have to go like really slow. <laughs> and especially on the bridges. I mean, she's 17. She doesn't have much driving experience. So she like hit the wall, I think, and like spun around and hit another guy. The other guy's truck was like barely damaged, but her whole back bumper is off. Her mirror's hanging off. She's got dents. I'm like, oh my gosh. She has like a 20 year old Honda Civic. So luckily she wasn't hurt, but she was flipping out. Like she for real, I think almost had a panic attack in the car when she was calling me. <laughs> and so I was trying to like get her calmed down. She was the most scared that like me or her dad or the other guy were gonna be mad at her, but everybody was like really chill. I'm like, listen, you're safe. A car is a material thing we can figure it out. And then now she's at a point where it's like, okay, she calmed down. Now she's like, great. Now I have an ugly car. So she's like kind of embarrassed. I was like, well, huh. kind of your fault. She's like, why do I have to always learn my lessons the hard way? And I was like, yeah, why do you? Okay. This is a black. Anyway, that's my story time. Black long sleeve top. I don't know what the brand this is. Oh, it's Fabletics. So it's a Fabletics. That's the logo. I don't really get Fabletics very much anymore because it doesn't do very good for me but I'll still sell this black long sleeve top. Probably not gonna have to, or probably not be able to find the size. I'll have to estimate. Another Fabletics tank top. This is an orange um, racerback mesh tank top. It kind of seems like a large maybe. So I'll just do measurements and list it. Oh, I must, this is probably another reason why I got these, a pair of Lululemon leggings. These are black. These seem like high rise maybe. Ooh, Grace might want these. Um, let me see what size they are, if they're her size. Otherwise, usually the flip sellers will put the size on their items when they are listing them. So I can't find, oh, here it is. It's a size six. She usually wears a four, but it might work. And there's a size dots around them. So um, yeah, that's nice. I probably will look this up and see how much they're worth or how much I said I could pay out the buyer, but I might give those to Grace. Another Christmas present? <laughs> okay, so that's gonna be in the Grace pile. I figured I would just let her try things on. Here's more Lululemon. This is like a black sheer long sleeve top. Uh, I don't know what this is called. I don't know if they will even bother trying to figure it out because that's kind of like a waste of time for me, to be honest. More Lululemon. These ones are like, could you hear that? <laughs> Let me see. Let's do like ASMR. Nope, that's not gonna work. Okay, you know like the really old Lululemon when it like sticks together? That's what these are. <laughs> these are old, these are capris. These are probably not gonna sell for like more than 10 or $15. Uh, kinda ugly. If you like these, okay, I'm sorry. In my opinion, they're not in style. Is that a better way to say it? I don't know what size they are. Um, I can't find the size dot, so I'll look around more when I'm listing, but that's okay. Better than like a no-name brand. Okay, a few items left in this flip lot. This is probably Lululemon, do you think? Men's maybe? I don't know. Oh yeah, here's the um, logo down here. This is like a navy blue short sleeve. It's like super soft. I guess maybe it could be women's. I have no idea. And I don't know how I'm going to be able to tell. The only th reason I thought men's was a black tag, because do the women ever have the black tags? 
I don't know. But I don't know if there's any way. Sometimes in the inside of like the bottom, but there's like nothing. So I have no clue of how to list this. So we'll see about that. I did not realize this had so much lubelum in it. Here's another one. So this is this this is the men's logo, right? With that like box around it. This is a tank top. A white pullover tank top. So that's pretty nice. I don't know. It kind of looks like it has a high low hem. That's not normal for men's, is it? Or is it? I have no idea. Okay, we have a soul cycle shirt. So that's great. This could be really good. Oh, this says Texas Love, so it's going to be very specific for someone living in Texas. But it's very cute. Spiritual gangster. Follow your soul. Has a saying on the back, size small. I'll let you read that if you really feel like it. Um, okay. That's like inspiring quote. And then we have a really worn out tank top by Beyond Yoga. So if it wasn't worn out, it probably would be better. It's a size medium. Has the knot down in the front, but that's okay. We'll still sell it. Cool. So that's one of my flip lots. That's actually like a pretty good one in my opinion. Here's some Tony Llama boots I found at the bins. These were left behind. Um, wait, nope. These are not Tony Llama. I found some Tony Llama boots at the bins recently after somebody else went through them. These are Justin boots and these are a size 10. These I still found at the bins, but um, not the ones I was thinking of. The ones I was thinking of was that someone went through and was like going crazy and then passed over them. And so I got them. I got this Harley Davidson t-shirt. It's a black ribbed short sleeve size extra large. Here's the back, which I probably will use for the cover photo. So Harley Davidson kind of like blingy t-shirts always sell for me. Um, I have this Eileen Fisher sweater. This is a size medium and it has, I think, maybe not. There was one Eileen Fisher that I needed to wash. It has like this sparkle detail down the front. Maybe it's not this one. And this is a merino wool sweater. So really good fabric content there. We have a cabbie size small, blue, lightweight, short sleeve pattern I mean long sleeve patterned top why can't I speak this is a soft surroundings um, I'm trying to pick up like at least medium or bigger because small and extra small do not seem to do very good for me unless it's like a really cute style this is almost like a terry cloth like teal pullover hoodie sweatshirt so that's very cute we have athleta size medium this is a white like um pont knit is that how you say that zip up jacket that's my size but I don't really I don't know I don't want that <laughs> I just don't want it um this is cool this is mod cloth size 20 it's a very cool maxi dress I love it it's kind of like a watercolor print with the button front it's super pretty here's the almost like a tie-dye pattern buttons all the way down I love that this sweater could be really good but I noticed that one of these hearts or a couple of them are like messed up see that one and I feel like there was one other one that was like oh this one Ugh, it's really sad but the brand is Michael Simon and I've seen some of these sweaters going for like really good money it's a size I don't know um, <laughs> anyway if this didn't have the messed up hearts it probably could go for a lot but because it does I don't know how much it's going to go for. Obviously, it's going to have to be a little bit less. So that's kind of sad. We have a Bolo brand. I have not found this brand in so long. So excited. Dale of Norway. Definitely be on the lookout for this. It's this amazing wool sweater with like the Fair Isle print and like these little toggle. Um, I don't know what you want to say. Connectors. That's not the right word. Um, Dale of Norway. That's just fabric care right yes it's 100% new wool this is amazing I don't know what it's going to sell for I'll see if I can find the exact um, style because some of them can sell for more than others but definitely be on the lookout for that we have a pair of Athleta leggings these are the ultimate 7 8 tights camo camo does good for me size medium petite high rise these are a newer pair 
since it has the writing underneath. And my camera battery is low, so I'm hoping it lasts. If it doesn't, I might finish up on my phone. Um, Lucky Brand 2X. So 2X and Lucky Brand can do pretty well for me. This is also a linen blend. It's a blue and white striped long sleeve top. So I wanted to get that. I don't know where the other one is, but I have this purple keen shoe. <laughs> um, I think I got these at the bins. And I don't know the size. Oh, here it is. It's a size 7. It's just a slip-on shoe. Okay. It looks like my phone's getting ready to die. I only have a couple more things left, so let me just try to get through it. It's just a couple more pairs of shoes. These are Sorel sandals. Aren't these so cute? They're like a two-strap elastic sandal. These are a women's size seven and a half. Also found these natives. I don't know if these sell for very much, but I know they're a good brand. They're like a door say, if that's how you say it. Purple slip-on flat. These are a size women's 10. And the last pair is a pair of Blondo Waterproof, which is an amazing brand. Camo, like zip up shoes, very cute, very fashionable. And these are a women's size eight and a half. So thank you so much for watching my haul, you guys. I appreciate you. I will see you on Friday, hopefully with a what sold video. I should be here. I know it's getting close to Christmas, but I don't think I have many plans. Thanks so much for watching. Give this video a thumbs up on the way out if you haven't yet. And I'll see you guys again soon.